Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Vault White. In the last part, we got Duelessa. In this part, I'm buying this return team. Because I like this move. I would buy some of these, but I don't think anyone on my entire team would be, would be able to make use of them. Because about the only good TM in there, to me at least, would be... Uh... Ooh. Just a second, buddy. There it is. Return TM. This is a TM that I will be happily adding to Banther's moveset over Tackle. Because Return has 20 PP, as you can see. It has 100 accuracy, just like Tackle. However, it has a base power that is dependent on your... Uh, Dependent on the Pokemon's liking on you. And it can go all the way up to 102, making it the highest base power, um, highest base power normal type move with no catch. With no, uh, with no problems to it. You know? There are higher power normal type moves, like Double Edge and, uh, uh, yeah, like Double Edge and Hyper Beam, but there's always a problem with those moves. Now, I'm going to pause the video and let and, and get back to Alessa. I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, we're back. Let us begin the challenge against Gym Leader Alessa. <laughs> As you can obviously tell, Alessa favours electric types. Tell in her name and in her setting. First Pokemon is an Emolga, level 36 with the moves with, with, this, with the ability static and moves Wild Charge, U-turn, Acrobatics, and Roost. The most annoying move on this team on this uh, move set is most definitely U-turn because it allows her to do some damage and then switch out. However, the most dangerous move on this moveset is easily acrobatics. This thing has a base 55 power, but doubles in power if it doesn't have an item, which this Pokemon does not, meaning an, a 110 base power flying type move with stab. That will hurt a lot. Now, I'm going to hit as hard as I possibly can whatever comes out now. Next is the Ampharos. Unless it's Ampharos is level 36, it has static as well. It also has the moves Thunderbolt, Charge, Focus Blast, and Cotton Guard. I'm going to switch now because a Focus Blast often offends. Let's switch to Marilyn because this thing doesn't have any physical attacks. Marilyn doesn't have too many issues fighting Pokemon with only special attacks. Especially if only one of them is, uh, does neutral damage or more. In fact, as long as she doesn't... Uh, as long as she doesn't switch, I can fairly easily set up on this team with, with Marilyn. <laughs> oh dear. My headphone thing is really annoying. I'm gonna heal now, because I don't want to use my, my uh, items yet. <laughs> this is about the only situation in which a, the, the move recover could possibly be useful in on, on, a, on an Alakazam is against a, an opponent that doesn't know how to switch and that doesn't and that hasn't got any physical attacks. Mm -hmm. I don't know what uh, what you're uh, what you're aiming at there because charger chance power boost only only uh, works once. Though I guess it could have something to do with the uh, the fact that the, the that you're boosting your special attack up really high. Your special defense, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can heal now. Woo! 
The only thing that could that could probably that could fairly easily take down Marilyn right now would be something that was faster with a physical attack. Once she once she's at six at plus six plus six, which she will be in three turns now, no oh, two turns. <laughs> An Alakazam at plus six special attack will probably be able to one shot anything that doesn't resist. Level difference or no? <laughs> this is gonna be fun, guys. Cotton Guard? That only raises defense, doesn't it? I don't know why you're doing that, if I'm honest. I really don't. Let's use Calm Mind again. <laughs> Once this Ampharos is down, her team will be absolutely defenseless against this. It will. She will not be able to deal with it at all. It's great. Let's use Recover so that we can be at, at as high a possible HP as possible. Possible. <laughs> when we, uh, when we, when we smash this guy's defenses down. Boom! Plus six Psy Beam. <laughs> Didn't even want to. He didn't even want to give us a goodbye gift. Fair enough. See you, buddy. Ah, oh, hyper potion. You're annoying. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Let's just hit as hard as possible. I mean, she can't do more damage than she already has. She can't do more than half damage to really. Even with charge, it just doesn't. It just can't happen. <laughs> I don't know why you keep doing that. You're not getting any anywhere with that now. You are no longer getting anywhere with this entire Pokemon. You should have just switched, like ten turns ago. You really should have. Switch to one of your physical based attackers, or that Galvantula that I know you have. You know, something that could take this. That could take this Pokemon out. There's the Galvantula. Galvantula is level 36. It has the Compound Eyes ability, meaning that its accuracy is higher. It has the moves Thunder, Volt Switch, Signal Beam, and Energy Ball. Normally, this thing would be a massive threat. However, I have a plus six, plus six Psybeam on the way. Should not survive this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Galvantula. But the only thing that can survive this is something with a focus band. Focus sash. <laughs> or sturdy. Imolga. We've already talked about this Imolga. It's usually really annoying. But Alessa decided to let me set up on one of her least threatening Pokemon. So, uh... You know, it wasn't exactly the, uh, the terrifying ordeal that I had imagined. She wasn't actually that difficult in my personal playthrough either. But I did have an M then as well. So. But I, I'm not using it at all at this point. No, none of her Pokemon are faster than a. I should talk about this Minectric, even though it's just dead. Level 36 is the static ability at a Thunderbolt Volt Switch. Flamethrower and Attract. And I don't know what it, its gender is, so I don't know what, it, what to do about it. Raichu! Raichu is about the only thing that has any kind, any possibility of danger at this point to, to this team. It has, the move, it has the static ability, and the moves Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Grass Knot, and Focus Blast. It shouldn't cause any problems, however it is fast. But Marilyn's faster, so bye bye. <laughs> this is just sad. This is just sad. It really is. I was hoping to, I was hoping for a proper challenge from this from this gym. I just set up on it. This is the saddest 
gem leader fight I've ever had in this entire ROM hack. Final Pokemon, Zeb Striker, is level 38. It has a Citrus Berry. It has the Sap Sipper ability if you have the regular version that is Rolt White. Um, or the Lightning Rod ability if you're playing Blaze Black. It has Wild Charge, Move Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Flame Charge, and Double Kick. And it's now dead. Inevitably. Zeb Striker does not have enough HP or Special Defense to take a plus six Psybeam from an Alcazar. And that was it! That was it. I, w I was really genuinely hoping <laughs> I really was hoping for that to be a challenge, you know? And Volt Badge! Get! Is that the Volt, Volt Badge, not Volt Badge. <laughs> and TM Wild Charge, which is for some reason lagging the game. Wild Charge is an electric-based, physical um, version of, like, Takedown, I think. Depending on base power. Let me have a look. If I can find it, that is. Where are you, Volt Wild Charge? Yeah, it's it's an electric-based, it's an electric-type version of Takedown. And two of my Pokémon can learn it, including Banther. I think I'm actually going to teach Banther this rather than the Thunderfang, which I was going to teach him. Mm -mm. Instead of the Takedown. Because this is a better move than than Takedown easily, because it has 100 accuracy. I could have gone for Thunderfang for potential para Parala Flinch, but I don't really care about that. I've never had it go, go off in any meaningful way on, on Thunder Fang. So I've, I've decided Wild Charge and then a different Elemental Fang. Yeah, um, we... Stoutland can relearn the Elemental Fangs using a, a Heart Scale or something, I think. Unless it uses Sparkling Bright Electric type attacks, but the combination of your and you and your Pokemon was even more impressive. It was... It was an emotional roller coaster. Cool. I wish you'd come up with some new uh, new material, buddy. Sorry. I'm sorry, but you really do need to... to get uh, get some new, some new material. Some new scriptwriters. Right. We just battled Alessa, the gym leader of Nimbasa City. That was the easiest fight I've ever had with her in any of any of the of the times I've ever fought her, including the original black. Black white that I was playing. That I had. Now next time we're going to be heading east of Nimbasa City. And those people who've played uh, played black black and white or this hack will say but there's nothing e there is nothing east that you can do right now. To which I say Yes, you're right. However, there are trainers there, and that's what I'm going to be using the, uh, the travel for. Now, see you guys next time, where we head east from Nimbasa City, with our new Bolt Badge in tow. See you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.